Next up, we're in New South Wales. John, first and foremost, mm. thank you so much for inviting me here today. I knew I was in for a treat when I knew I was meeting up with the legendary John Dee. Mm. And on top of which, I'm in the Blue Mountains mm. with a stunning eco lodge behind me. Yeah. This place looks magnificent. Is this your passion project? Oh, it really is. My wife and I bought this house 21 years ago and it was in really bad condition. It was originally designed as an eco lodge for corporate getaway weekends. But when we first got here, the estate agent said, use your imagination. That's how bad it was, right? Our aim with this house was to make it as energy efficient as possible, to make the renovation as sustainable as possible, but to do it on a really, really tight budget because most of my life I've been working for charities and charity initiatives. So we didn't have a huge amount of money. And so it's been a 20 year journey in trying to make the house greener and more energy efficient. Which is absolutely fantastic. And you know I'm a tech guy, especially around energy efficiency, sustainability, mm. renewable energy technology. Not so for I, sure. can't, I can't wait to see what you've got on the inside in terms of the equipment you've used. But I'm also very curious to see how contemporary you've actually gone. Because mm. you have looked to maintain this beautiful surrounding mm. and keeping with the home itself and its design and structure. Um, so it does look on the outside that you've maintained that. Mm. But I'm curious to see what the temptation was to go contemporary as we go inside. It really does look like a mountain home slash lodge. I mean, it's got that real earthy mm. warm hug as you walk inside of it. I was interested in the actual wall you've created as you first walk into the front door. Was that mm. something you've added to the building? Yeah, so when you used to come in the front door, you lost any heat that you had in the house in winter time. So we created this mud room, which is like a thermal lock. So when we come in and take off our shoes, take off our coats, that is done in the mud room. And then when you come in here, you can shut the doors behind you and keep that cold away from the rest of the house. And that's really important. The other thing we've done is we've had hemp curtains with backing on them. And that's great in winter because it keeps you know, it keeps that cold out because we can't afford to do double glazing for such a big house. We've got double glazing in some parts. So where we couldn't afford that, we put these hemp curtains with a backing on. And that's a really simple and cheap way to keep your house warm in winter. I know you found a National Tree Day with Elizabeth Newton-John, which is absolutely incredible. And I think 10 million trees you guys have planted at least. Well, today. the good thing now is when Olivia and I started National Tree Day, we fronted it for the first 10 million trees to make sure it was really established. And we got Toyota in to help with that, which was great of them. And then Olivia and I went off and did other things. But then Olivia and I came back together and started a new initiative called One Tree Per Child. That is now planting trees in 11 countries and we've got a huge amount of kids involved getting their hands in the ground, getting their hands dirty and creating a better future for themselves and their kids to come. What I also acknowledge is when I look inside of that studio mm. and around the house, there's so many toys. I mean, you have a lot of technology. Mm. Your studio really emphasizes how much you love music and mm. how expensive those things would be to run mm. without solar power. And I can tell you've gone for the best of the best as well. And really, as you said, you want to expand your, the solar system on your roof. And by having panels that are up to 470 watts, which is absolutely amazing, by the way, then adding more panels to that, you're going to be creating so much electricity. You've also gone for the latest tech as well, which means the efficiencies are insane. I think they're around 25%. So you're getting so much production per square meter or comparatively to any other panel which is brilliant for yourself once again in terms of producing as much electricity as possible but then also knowing for yourself you don't have to probably um, stack out the entire roof. One of the most important things though I think about the ICO panels from an efficiency standpoint is the technology they're calling ABC it's all back contact so you've heard of that right? Absolutely I mean their ABC technology is phenomenal when you compare the ICO panel to its competitors if there's a bit of shade you lose half the panel on a standard panel, but on the ICO, you only lose a tiny little segment. So yeah. you and made that's a important, right? It's, it's that saves money. Absolutely, you made a good choice. You're actually maximising your return on investment, and you get to utilise all that sun, beautiful sun in the sky, all day long under any condition.
Well, John, I'm super impressed with what you've done with this house. You know, with the way you've styled the home, good work on your wife's behalf, but the way you've actually built it using sustainable materials, it's super inspiring. And the fact it's now net zero, essentially, with the solar power system, the battery, the EV, you've done something that a lot of people would wish they could do to theirs. And you've also proven that you don't have to have a massive budget to do that. You can do that in stages. So thank you so much for showing me around today. It's absolutely wonderful. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.